So I'm getting a lot of questions uh, with the two by the people who bought two by four asking about how do you choose your maximum loading, and the the sub maximal loading was pretty straightforward. You're just going to go three sets of one to five reps depending on the week with between 60 and 80 percent of one rep max. That's for the technique work uh, with sub maximal loading, but for the maximal loading, I was kind of vague, and so I wanted to film a video and explain this. It's very hard for me to say, you know, do three sets of five with 85% of your one rep max, or three sets of three with 90%. Percentages, as I, as I explain this in the book, percentages don't work for everyone. <clears throat> Maybe six out of ten people, the, it'll be perfect for them, but the other four people, it'll be either too heavy or too light. Some people, it'll be impossible, and some people, it'll be so easy they don't get a training effect. So you have to figure this out. Uh, and and it probably has a lot to do with the composition of fast twitch versus slow twitch muscle fibers, but there are other factors as well. So I can, you know, while I could probably, you can use rep calculators that are available online to, to give you general estimates. Remember, you're repeating the first six weeks of the program, you're repeating this for three sets. So it's not what you can get for one set of five, it's what you can get for three sets of five, and the other thing is, you can't just base it off your one rep max, you can initially, but keep in mind, um, if you're like myself and Andrew and the other people who did the program, you'll be getting stronger. So you, you, you'd have to readjust without really knowing what, what's happening with your one rep max. You just kind of know that you're gaining strength with the program. For example, you know, when I did the block pull, the first time I did it, I wasn't as experienced with it, but throughout the, the, 14 week program I got a lot better and more coordinated at the block pull so my strength went way up so by the end when I did my maximal set of you know my maximal single or my ascending sets I was doing way heavier weight than when I initially started but anyway here's how you can go about it let's say you're on week one and you're doing the squat or the bench press or something like that and you want to determine your three sets of five max so maybe you you're gonna do your dynamic warm-up and then maybe you're gonna do you know the bar for 10 reps then you throw on a 45 pound plate you do 135 for five reps then you throw on a 25 on each side you do 185 for five reps it's easy take the 25s off put a 45 on each side now you're at 225 pounds you do five reps and it's pretty hard it's not you know you know you could probably get it for like eight uh, but you, that's pretty close so then you you say okay I need to get three sets of five I know I could get it with 225 but I don't quite think I could get it with 245 pounds so I'm gonna put a five on each side and have 235 and then I'm gonna go for three sets of five with that weight and uh, and you know hopefully you'll get it if <clears throat> I recommend just sticking to the rep scheme if you went too heavy and you only got say you got five on the first set five on the second set and then three or four on the third set well then what I would do there is just kind of you can just make a note of it or just say you know, you know, you could have gotten, you went 235, you know, if you would have done 230 pounds, you would have gotten it. So I would just kind of lie and just write on the record on the PR sheet, 230 pounds. And that way, next time, you know, to try and beat that next time around, you want to go for 235 or something like that when you repeat two by four. But uh, let's say you do the three sets of five and it's pretty easy. Well, you have the option of repping out on that third set. Say you get five, then five. And then on the third set, you get seven or eight. But keep in mind that you're training four days per week on this program. And, you know, a couple days later, you might have to hit a deadlift, a heavy deadlift or something like that. So you don't want to totally, you know, um, you don't want to overtax yourself. Keep in mind, this is an accumulating program. Six weeks on, then a deload, then six weeks on, and then another deload week. So... Um, I hope that sheds some light on how to choose the PRs. Uh, you just kind of use use your knowledge of prior lifting to kind of guesstimate. Use warm-up sets. And then at the end of the day, it's just a, a guess. But what's nice is the first time 
my first time running two by four, I I was I've always been really good at you know figuring out what loads to use. So I I felt all my PRs were very challenging, but my second time around, that's when I feel like I gained even more strength because um, then I had pretty challenging PRs that I had to beat. So you know I had you know you know when 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 you're going for my I think my deadlift uh, you know three singles was like 515 for three singles and I've got to beat that so that's pretty daunting but I did it the second time around and I think you see better results the second time around when you re repeat two by four so I recommend doing it either twice back to back or you could spread it out do the 14 week program wait a couple months do it again but I do recommend you do it two to three times a year and you keep that you'll have that PR sheet so what's nice is that the next time you repeat it you can look at your tracker sheet and say okay here's what I need to beat and you will find that you do beat it but also bear in mind as I said earlier you will be gaining strength so you can't just go by percentages before you start the program because they will be scaling upwards throughout the program last thing to keep in mind the first six weeks you're doing uh, straight sets so three sets of five with the same load three sets of three with the same load three sets of one with the same load then you take a deload week, and then the next six weeks are ascending sets, meaning you're really just working your way up to a top set. So a maximal set of five, a maximal set of three, a maximal single. And what you'll find is you can generally do, you know, depending on your strength, maybe it's 20 more pounds with, with the ascending set than you did with the three sets of five with the straight sets. Um, but you will be able to get, you know, your ascending sets will be stronger than the straight sets because you're only doing one maximal set, whereas with the straight sets, you're repeating it twice. So you're doing three, three total sets with that load. Okay, hope that answers your questions. Thanks for watching.